collaboration is a big, uh, big statement, a big thing that Starag talk about and show here on your Tech Days, Lee. What's this one? Well, this is a collaboration between Starag, Hamer and, uh, and Brochet. And you guys have seen the automation that we offer for loading components to a machine, so the pallet systems, for the robot systems or any other means. This is about loading tools. Okay, you're a fountain of knowledge on the machines. We're going to see how, <laughs> how much of a fountain of knowledge you are on this. If you'd like to press start, if you press start, Lee, talk, us, talk to us about what's happening here then. Okay, the well, in, in this case, we've got a disk system holding tools and tool holders. Could be, could be a tray, could be any other type of system. And we've got a, a cobot that's got a twin gripper. So we've got a gripper for holding the tool holders and a gripper, as you can see there, for picking the tools up. What sits above that gripper is a camera system. Now this is the clever bit. So the camera is looking at the end of the tool and it's orientating to pick up the right flute position relative to, uh, to the assembly. So we're now going to take the tool holder, load it into the, uh, the unit, which is a heat shrink and measuring unit. We drop the, uh, we drop the tool in and we, we then, uh, we then lower, the, lower the, uh, the heating system and we, we, we open the diameter of that bore on the, on the tool holder. So now when we put the cutting tool in here, it's then, um, it's then going to be heat shrunk, basically. Sure. So once, once the tool is, um, you can see now, so we're heating up the body of the tool, yeah? Yeah. And then once that's hot enough and we drop the tool in and it's in position. It heats that up incredibly quickly, doesn't it, when it you does. think of the temperature that it actually gets to. The fascinating thing with heat shrink tools as well is some people used to say, well, you know, how long is the tool body going to last? How many times can you heat it and, 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 and shrink it? But it's... It, it, well, it's tens, hundreds it, it of thousands, is, isn't it? it? No, it's almost forever. I mean, they're a very low-cost unit. They're very, very accurate, and they've, they've got a very high gripping power. So, that's, so you, you, you can have a small diameter neck for you know, difficult to reach, uh, uh, inaccessible features, if you like, on components, and still be able to use uh, rel relatively high-performing cuts. But my question now is, we're measuring this, and we've not even. Um, Cooled it. So how are we going to know where that that, that cut, you know the, the correct offsets or the correct the, system, the system knows the coefficient of expansions of the material, so it knows what the what the tool assembly will contract. So it's measured it. It's adjusted the length by the right factor, and it's written that data to the chip. So what we're now doing is we've taken the assembly out. We're dropping it into this um, system on the on, on the tabletop there. That's a cooling system. Okay, now that yeah. takes, I'm told, about around about 90 seconds yeah, to, it's to a cool minute it. Or so, so. And, and the thing for me then, Lee, once that is cooled and then that's put back in your, your drum here or whatever you want to call it, you'd then have some method of getting this to the machine, wouldn't you, which is automated as well? Sure, you could use an autonomous vehicle. So you could, you, you could load and unload the tools onto an autonomous vehicle, take it around your factory to the machine. You could load it into a tray system that goes straight into the tool carousel. So there's various different ways you can do it. Like I say, this is a mock-up as an example. And, and the very fact that it's auto automation is, is one thing because you're not having to have an operator, but that has a, other advantages as well, doesn't it, in terms of the reliability of the system, really? Error-free. Yeah, error-free, fast, unmanned. You can use the system over the weekend, overnight, multiple tools. There's lots of advantages. So it's taking automation to the next level now, and looking at the feeding of tools to the machine, not just feeding of raw material to the machine.